All right, let's get out to Chris Sadegi. Chris, at last check, I heard you over in Mesquite. What's your drive looking like out that way? Yes, Char, we are on I-30 heading east. We're actually about to cross Lake Ray Hubbard into Rockwall County. We are now behind the line. You can take a look at the roads. They are wet. We still see a lot of thunder and lightning, but we're behind that line where the heavy rain was. It is still coming down, but not near as hard as it was when we were on the front of that line. So we're actually playing catch up now as we head in to our eastern counties. But still, as I said, the roads are still slick. We do occasionally hit some ponding in certain spots of the road, so that's something to be aware of. Be alert, make sure that you are taking things slow. If you have to get out on the roads, know that they could be slick. We could see backups. Obviously a good idea to leave a lot of time, even though it sounds like these storms have passed through at least this portion where we are at. However, I know that Suzanne Bruner is a little bit further east from where we are right now. Suzanne, have the storms made it to you yet? Yeah, I'm in neighboring uh, Kaufman County. Chris, good morning. Yeah, right now we are seeing rain. It actually moved in about uh, 20 minutes ago and it was uh, coming in spurts. Uh, it came down pretty hard at one point and then it started easing off just a little bit. Now it's just remained pretty consistent, but you can see behind me still raining. And one of the big factors out here too is windy conditions. So the roads are wet, puddles are starting to form. And we did see some lightning in the distance. So, uh, yeah, that, that's what we're seeing out here at this point. Um, and I will say it's gotten a, just a tad bit cooler out here. So those are some of the things that we're going to keep an eye on here in Terrell, um, right off of I-20. And uh, Mark will bring you uh, some new updates in about 30 minutes.